now that season two has been out for a couple days and I've gotten to test out the different balance changes that they made, I figured it's time to give you a little bit of a tier list for first we'll do the gadgets and probably guns tomorrow. So without further ado, let's hop right in. Alright, so as far as DFib goes, I know they changed the animation to be like a three second delay after you use it, which is definitely quite a bit of a nerf, I would say. But even still, it's going to be kind of hard to argue that DFib is not S tier in this game. It's just like, it's just got too much team utility. It's just too good. Not much else to say. Gas mine? Um, it's hard to say, but it's definitely in the A to B range. It's good because it's just like a gas grenade that you can manually shoot and, and stack up. I feel like the mine portion isn't really utilized much in like higher skill lobbies because you just don't jump on them. Especially now with like the data reshaper, it's going to be a lot harder to not only have people step on them, but also since the tick goes up as exponentially and it starts out slower, it's gas kills are just going to be a lot harder to get than they were in season one. It was a little OP. Honestly, I'm, we'll go B for now. We might change it up later. Barricade. In season one, I never really saw anyone using it, but it's pretty solid. I mean, now that they just nerfed the mesh shield uh, cooldown by quite a bit, or no, like the the time that it's out on the field before it disappears. So barricade might be even more viable now. I'm thinking somewhere in the B to A range, definitely. It's it's got some serious utility, but I'd say it's a lot harder to be good with than something like the mesh shield. You kind of actually have to, like, think about your placements, but we'll go A tier with that. Zipline. Ooh, zipline is pretty dang good, I won't lie. The Being one of only really two movement options like that your team can use well other than the new gateway i suppose that counts but i mean it's it's just solid like maybe a plus s minus range we'll stick it in there for now but the movement is just it's just got so much utility rpg i mean come on even then, even now that it doesn't one-shot lights, it's going to be kind of hard to argue anything other than S for RPG. Ooh, C4. You see, this was one of the best gadgets in the game as of last season, easily, with its nuke utility and also just, like, throwing two on the box. But now that they've jacked up the entire mechanics of it and made it so you can only carry one... I think it might be C tier. Like, I think, I think you might get more utility out of a gas mine than a C4 now, which is absolutely wild to say. Dome shield. I think it's still going to be S tier. The recent nerfs for season two might drop it down to A, but I kind of doubt it. It's just like, I think it, it went from like 20 to 12 seconds on, on the field, like when you throw it, which, I mean, it's a pretty big change, but I don't think it really impacts the viability of how good it is too much, to be frank. Gas grenade, I think, in my opinion, it's just a slightly worse gas mine. Like, it's, I don't know, it's solid, but like, the gas mine is just a gas grenade that you can like stack multiple up of whereas a gas grenade you just kind of have one on you and then you throw it and then you wait 30 seconds whereas the mine you can like throw one near the cash out to be able to shoot it and create a cloud around it to dissuade anyone from stealing but at the same time 
I mean, they're they're both solid. They're both usable, I'd say, but I don't know. Not not the best. All right, explosive mine. Um, I think this is gonna be in C tier. It's it's kind of the same situation with the C four and the well. It's the same situation as the gas mine with the gas grenade, as it is with the C four. Like the explosive mine is just kind of a worse. Well, it was a worse C four, but. Now they're basically the same thing, except for explosive mine you can throw two of instead of just one, and you can shoot it instead of remotely activating it, but I don't know. You probably won't catch me using either, but I'd say they're both, like, you you could make both work if you really wanted to. Pyro mine? No. Just no. Like... I don't know, maybe D, but, I just, no, like, come on, that, that's, that's all I have to say, breach charge, oh, crap, breach charge is a tough one, it's just a worse C4, but it's on light, which doesn't really have any other utility to, like, cause destruction of any sort, and it can be kind of clutch on like the cash out to drop it if they're stealing, but I I don't know. It maybe B tier, but I don't think it's better than the C4. Yeah, we're gonna have to stick it in C. It's pretty on par with the C4. And we got the flame grenade. Uh I mean it's it's like decent, but have you ever gotten a kill with like it's good for like blocking a doorway or blocking a cash out and trying to dissuade people from like going a certain route. You can kind of use it as like crowd control, but I don't know, man. It's it's just like doesn't it doesn't pack enough punch like if it hits somebody, they'll do like maybe 25, 30, maybe 40 damage. And then, like, they'll be out of it. But, the like, the old gas was just way better than fire. And now, I'd say it's still quite a bit better than fire. Fire needs, like, some sort of overhaul entirely. It's just, like, not that useful compared to gas, to be honest. Smoke grenade? Dookie Hauser tier. Maybe, no, it's not bullet power mine. But, like, come on. Have you ever gotten a good play with a smoke grenade? I don't know. It's just, like, the smoke doesn't do anything. You can, like, you can see straight through it. It's just, like, not a smoke grenade. I don't, I just don't understand it. I won't lie to you. Um, frag grenade. Frag grenades are solid. They... Pack, I think it's like 149 damage, so you can start lobbing them and get some absolute chunks off of people, but like, is a, uh, you know what, it might be A tier, I think frag might be A tier, it, I slept on it for the beginning of the game quite a bit, but it's honestly solid, like, it's basically just an RPG that you chuck instead of shoot, so, it, yeah, frag grenade solid, I won't sleep on that, thermal vision, if you use this, I'm convinced that you just don't like being good at the game. I don't I don't know, but <laughs> the thermal vision is pretty just pointless if you ask me. Like just look. It doesn't even like make it easier to see people. Maybe if you could like maybe if, if smoke worked and you could use it to see through smoke, I could see it maybe being somewhat usable in certain situations, but like as it stands, that's a no for me, dog. I'm not gonna lie to you. Glitch grenade. The utility itself is really good being able to, like, shut off mesh shields and deactivate uh, dome shields and potentially prevent, like, healing beams and stuff even. But in practice, it just, like, 
for me at least it just like bounces off of shields and i rarely get like a good bounce to actually hit the shield or deactivate what i'm trying to because it just like takes too long to go off in my opinion but it's it's solid maybe i'm just trash but like it's i'm it's it's good you can use it you can use it uh what the heck is this is this a i can't even tell what this is oh it's a goo bomb goo grenade my bad goo grenade is i think it's low-key kind of slept on like not on and heavy don't use goo grenade but like there i've seen some medium and light builds that utilize it pretty dang well as far as just like blocking doorways or like getting out of a certain fight and taking cover but you know it's i'd say yeah it's it's probably in a better place than explosive mine tier yeah I'll, I'll keep it at b it's you know it's solid not my not my type of gadget but like i can recognize that it's got a decent amount of utility but on heavy you're just going to want to use the goo gun if i'm being honest motion sensor come on on light it was in maybe like me no nah, probably d tier but now that it's on heavy if you choose motion sensor not only are you throwing but you're mega cringe that's all i have to say you're just you're cringe don't use motion sensor stun gun easy s tier the ability to not only like stop a like a mesh shield from being used stop a defib that's about to happen and most importantly pull somebody off of a cash out as they're stealing i feel like the stun gun is it just has so much utility it's kind of hard to like figure out and get to a point where you can utilize it well but stun gun goes crazy i'm not gonna lie to you vanishing bomb i mean i think it's solid to be honest it's definitely up there being able to turn your entire team invisible is goaded i saw the uh buffed the time that you're invisible by like one or two seconds i don't recall exactly but it it's just a good item like i feel like most people don't really use it as a team gadget which is kind of a tweak like you're much better off turning a, a heavy invisible and letting them like just bum rush a cash out but it, it's just real good man it's it could probably still use maybe one or two more seconds of duration just to like like you get a little bit more done but being able to turn invisible without using and you could still be like using a base of dash with this goaded i'm not gonna cap eps turret i think is mega slept on it's not really utilized much because it's just hard to like use well but there's nothing more annoying than throwing an rpg and just watch it get eaten by this sucker holy piss especially in that new 5v5 mode i played a match that was just like three of these turrets and then like three mesh shield or two mesh shields sitting on the thing the like payload at all times and holy crap that was literally impossible to counter you like the second you destroy a shield there's another one thrown you destroy that one there's another one thrown you throw some grenades they just get eaten you throw an rpg just gets eaten like aps turret goes pretty dummy crazy i'm not a fan of it too much just because i'm not like that good but you know there we go and then finally oh well we've got <laughs> flashbang if you use the flashbang in the finals i'm consider i'm seriously convinced that you're just like a masochistic cringe lord that hates playing the game because the flashbang is just never gonna help you in any situation in this game as, as it stands it's just it's just not the move my guy 
And I'm realizing they don't have the three new weapons on this tier list, so I'm just gonna have to give them to you by my initial thoughts. With uh, the new data reshaper, I mean, it's solid. I like it. It's it's a lot of fun, and I think that there's a pretty high skill ceiling with it. I'm gonna probably put it in like the B to A range right now, probably in the B range. It it's got like some serious potential for crazy situational plays and especially if there's like turrets and APS and a bunch of mines around a cash out that you're trying to bum rush or something but I think it's gonna take a little bit more time for most people to like flesh it out into their play style and become actually like decent with it but where it stands day two of the season right now I'll throw it in the B tier the anti-gravity gun or cube thing i mean on heavy i'm gonna probably throw it in the c tier it's it's super fun and it gives heavy a little bit of much needed mobility but like personally on heavy i think you're better off with you need rpg you probably need dome shield and then I mean, I guess maybe you could run a barrier with that, but, like, C4 is just not really viable on Heavy, in my opinion, anymore. Well, it's still viable, but it's not, like, a must-pick anymore. But, actually, you know what? I think, yeah, the Anti-Gravity Cube, probably C-tier with the C4. It's, it's definitely viable, but... It's not like a guaranteed must pick in my opinion, and it's gonna be super situational when it's like actually helping you. All right, and lastly, we've got the the new gadget on light, which is the gateway portals. Which holy split gate, those things are fire! I'm not gonna lie to you. They the range is a little lackluster right now. How far you can like throw it <clears throat> before it like just activates on its own but i think the strat is you want to like throw one as kind of like a getaway anchor and then if you're in a fight you toss down the other one and take it i think that's going to be the strat it's not really like a a movement item the same way that like a zip line or a jump pad is oh jump pad's not on here either i'll do that after this but um the gateway portal i think i'm gonna throw it at a tier right now but i think it's definitely once i've like flushed it out a little bit more and seen some more gameplay with it it's definitely either gonna be like a b or an s it's gonna it's gonna i could see it fluctuating heavily and then jump pad you know s tier as well right next to zipline the mobility in this game is just solid and oh, you kind of need at least one of them on your team to be able to traverse the map well, in my opinion. Well, I believe that is all the gadgets. And just imagine that Jump Pad's in S tier, Gateway Portal is in A tier, the Anti-Gravity Cube is in C tier, and then Data Reshaper, I believe I said B tier. I apologize for missing the images. I don't know what went wrong with that, but here we are um well thanks for watching everybody this has been slop with your daily the finals upload if you liked the video drop a like so that it's pushed to other people who may like it peace out you're so skibbity you're so phantom tax